standing outside the Southern Royal Jewish Community Center in Comac, inside an exhibit honoring the life of Sandy Koufax, opened up on October 4th and runs through December 30th. The exhibit is free to the public. Alan Freeman, the director of the National Jewish Sports Hall of Fame and Museum, talked about the importance of Sandy Koufax to the game of baseball and the different types of artwork that is featured inside the exhibit. So we put together a list of people, most of them being artists that were in the same exhibit on Rolling Rays, to see if they wanted to do something on Koufax. Several of the guys here uh, have already had already done work on Koufax. Others created pieces specifically for this exhibit. And that was the impetus for this getting to go, and then it almost became word of mouth. Other artists heard about what was going on, and they wanted to get involved with this. So it was great for us. It's nice nowadays when you see some of the current pictures that you see in the uh, playoffs. They're uh, mentioning Sandy Koufax's name because of what he's done. The idea being that a Jewish athlete can do, uh, you know, it's an oxymoron, but Koufax proved that. Oh, there are other athletes, but he may be the most famous. But as I said, some of these are really unusual. One behind me is uh, Legos. People didn't realize you can make artwork out of Legos. There's an artist who does that for a living. Nice to know that you can make a living with uh, Legos. And these aren't just sports artists. I, I, I don't want to say anything disparagingly, say that they're sports artists to us. They are just amazing contemporary artists by the name of Harry Weber, who had done some work, and he was thrilled to be able to do this bronze statue of Koufax. Koufax was well known that after he pitched, he would have to soak his arm in ice water for about a half an hour. Almost every case, we left it up to the artist. You get close to that, you can see that it's actually a three-dimensional piece. Koufax pops out at you, and what he did along inside there where the fans are, it's all his various statistics. I just don't know how these guys have the patience uh, to do something, the intricacy of the writing on this one. Our hope is we're going to get old-time baseball fans, uh, some new fans, people coming into the Y will see this. Uh, they just have to see it because they're going through the front lobby where it's located and stop, particularly now that it's baseball season, and it'll just kind of 